Hi there. Welcome to this Delphin World video. Let's talk about success. Of the many different definitions of success, one of my favorites is that offered by Earl Nightingale, who wrote that success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal or set of ideals. Earl knew what he was talking about. Inspired, like so many others, by Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich, he went on to create a successful life for himself and to be a positive influence on the lives of millions of other people. In 1956, Earl recorded a talk called The Strangest Secret. The LP of that recording went on to sell over one million copies and became the first ever gold record of the spoken word. My father had one of those original records, and I first heard Earl's resonant voice in my teens. In 1960, together with Lloyd Conant, Earl founded the Nightingale Conant Company that became the world's largest purveyor of personal development products, and today, almost 60 years later, is still enhancing the lives of millions of people with its many success programs. Okay, that is enough of a commercial for that great company. Let's expand the definition of success a little bit. Many people, if and when they think about success, think mostly about material success or financial well-being. But true success is more than the accumulation of riches or in having a trophy room full of accomplishments. True success is the holistic blend of well-being in the physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, and material aspects of self. Success, then, is the progressive realization of your physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, and material ideals. I define prosperity as the abundance of all things held ideal in mind and dear in heart. The various studies of successful people have shown that they have certain attributes that anyone can adopt to apply to their own journey in order to create, for themselves, a successful life. Modeling the success of others is a good way to create your own success. You've heard it before, success leaves clues. So let's take a look at the top 10 critical success clues left for us by those folks who have already created success. These are the attributes of successful people that you can model or take on in order to enhance the quality of your own life. Clue number one, attribute number one, positive mental attitude. This is more than just a general positive outlook on life. It is the state of mind that enables a person to always look for ways to win or to find a desirable outcome, regardless of whatever events may have occurred or whatever the current conditions and circumstances may be. It is characterized by a general sense of optimism, faith in the future, and a belief that life is a great adventure to be pursued. And while optimists and pessimists may argue over whether a glass is half full or half empty, the person with a true positive mental attitude sees an empty glass as a sign that something great is about to come along to continuously fill that glass and feels both grateful for whatever will fill that glass and confident that it will be filled with something delicious and nutritious. In other words, those with a positive mental attitude fully expect that success is always available if one is willing to look for it and act to gain it. Which brings us to number two, personal responsibility. 
So while a successful person is always confidently expectant that things will work out to their benefit, they know that it is entirely up to them to do what is necessary in order to ensure that success does continue to come to them. While others may have a victim mentality and blame events, circumstances, other people, or luck for their lack of success, winners of the game of life not only know that they are responsible for both their successes and their failures, they are also willing to do what is necessary in order to prosper despite whatever conditions may exist in the world around them. Here is the cold hard truth. Losers assess blame. Winners accept responsibility and set themselves to do what needs to be done. Which brings us to number three, self-discipline. This is how the better versions of oneself are revealed. Inherent talents and skills are enhanced through self-discipline, just as it is discipline that turns a good athlete into a great athlete, it is discipline that empowers everyone to perform at a higher level. Each of us has the ability to become a higher achiever, and it is self-discipline that elevates the average performer to the status of exceptional performer. Only those with self-discipline get to play at the top of their game and create those notable levels of success in any field. And those who have a strong sense of purpose know this. Many people look at discipline as something difficult that is imposed upon them. Winners look at discipline as the pathway to a better version of self and to the resulting success that better version brings to their life. Which brings us to number four, self-actualization. Successful people are always looking for a way to enhance their ability to perform at a higher level. And that is most likely exactly why you are here right now watching this video. Because you are desirous of finding one more clue about the secrets of success. Studies reveal that those who are high achievers spend more time every day learning how to create a better version of themselves in order to produce bigger, better results than the average person does. It is their self-discipline that enables them to invest their time and money into personal development and self-actualization, while others merely spend their time and money on frivolous entertainment. Winners are constantly engaged in the pursuit of self-enhancement. This website exists for those people who want to step out of the norm and step into success, the success they have defined for themselves. Which brings us to number five. Successful people have a clearly defined sense of purpose. They know what they are about, and they are focused on that personal purpose in life. Those who struggle in life lack that sense of personal, self-imposed purpose, and quite often fall into a purpose that is imposed upon them by some outside force. As the late, great Jim Rohn so succinctly said, if you don't design your own life plan, chances are you'll fall into someone else's plan and guess what they have planned for you. Not much. There is a masterclass here on Delphin World called Live Success Now that walks you through the process of creating that life master plan. Once you have completed that, you will be always living a life on purpose and with purpose and it will arouse, number six, your intense passion. Winners are passionate. Their sense of purpose inspires their passion, and their passion is the fuel that drives them 
It is the fire that lights their path forward. Passion also creates charisma or personal magnetism. It is what attracts to you the people and the resources that you need to achieve your success. In other words, passion is magnetic. Passion is the metaphysical equivalent of gravity. It draws to you the elements that you need to succeed. Passionate people attract attention and support. As you have probably already seen, if you've watched my video entitled Napoleon Hill's 13 Secrets of Success, Hill starts his classic, Think and Grow Rich, by stating that the first prerequisite for success is a burning desire for success. That burning desire or passion is what keeps winners going while others quit. Which brings us to firm resolve. Grit, determination, perseverance, resoluteness, endurance, tenacity, resolve. These are all words used to describe those who create success. It is persistence that creates winners. It takes resolve to reach the top, and there will be obstacles in your path and impediments to your success. Losers allow themselves to be defeated by these supposed barriers. Winners use them to build up strength and to learn a better way to do something. I see it all the time. So do you. People quit just before the finish line. They lose focus and direction. Winners persist and losers desist. It will be your passion for your purpose that supplies the firm resolve that keeps you going in the face of whatever difficulties or frustrations appear on your path. Number eight, creative imagination. In addition to that defined sense of purpose, successful people are capable of creating and holding a vision of where they are headed. They see their success in their imagination and fully expect to see it show up as a tangible reality because they can see it in their imagination. Ordinary people, on the other hand, depend on the evidence of their senses to tell them what reality looks like. Successful people use their creative imagination to create their reality, first in their inner world and then in the outer world of everyday events and circumstances. Number nine, independent thinkers. Successful people are independent thinkers. They, knew, they know two important things. Number one, that it is our method of thinking that determines the results we have in life. And number two, that in order to step out of the crowd of normality and mediocrity, it is necessary to think differently than the crowd, to think independently, to think differently than the average person. For that reason, successful people mostly stay away from mass media and are continuously educating themselves, looking for that competitive edge. And number 10, a sense of immediacy. Successful people know that procrastination is the killer of dreams and ambitions, that this present moment is the time to be decisive, to take action, and to do what is needed to be done in order to move progressively toward the realization of their ideals and to create that success that defines their purpose and inspires their passion. So there you have it, the 10 critical success clues given to us by those who have walked the path to success before us. Each of these personal qualities can be adopted by you if you choose. And that is your great freedom and your great power, the freedom to choose. Now, I hope you have enjoyed 
what our Nobel Prize winners have had to say about success. And I'm going to close this out with this last image of a no Nobel Prize laureate. When Albert Einstein spoke these famous words, he was referring to humanity as a whole, but they also apply to each of us as individuals, perhaps even more so, because we know that our individual success depends on our method of thinking. And if we wish to upgrade our personal and collective well-being, we need to set higher ideals. And as Earl Nightingale has told us, move progressively toward the realization of those ideals by consciously taking on the personal qualities exemplified by those who have shown us the way and have already created success. They have given us the critical clues. It is now up to each of us to apply that information to how we go about living our day-to-day -day lives. The great good news is that if you discover through watching this video that you have not yet fully developed these 10 necessary personal attributes of winners, you can change the way you are and the way you do things in order to create the success you desire. So there it is. Your destiny is yours, by design or by default. It is up to you. All right. I thank you for your attention. I hope to see you on the path going forward. The next level awaits your decision to pursue that ongoing self-actualization. Ciao for now.